actually trying to stay on the middle of this frame and I don't know if I am succeeding yeah I think I have succeeded but now if I stay like this then that means that Mukunoyangri to Choka anyway okay this is me being rude hi my name is Ladesha Kato and uh, welcome to my channel today's episode is going to be our first hashtag dating Jesus episodes that have happened ever since we took our one month break from the channel and uh, I'm going to be sharing a very personal story to me I'm going to be sharing my poem story I don't know whether that's the right way to frame, freeze it but I'm going to be sharing my pornography story like how I interacted with it what got me there why I stayed and how long I have stayed and if time allows probably how I got out but yeah and if you have been watching our videos ever since we began this channel then you'd know that um, you'd know that back in my hair is disastrous but then you'd know that um, relationships and pornography hold a soft spot in my heart I swear I don't know how to stay in the middle of this frame but it's fine we can do this ah there yeah okay now I can look at the lens okay um you've been watching my channel ever since we began then you'd know that relationships and pornography hold a soft spot in my heart because i have been through them i am in them okay i am in a relationship not in pornography and uh, yeah i'd like talking about things that i have gone through or i am going through yeah okay so let's begin with the story so my first interaction with pornography was when i had finished uh, my closet if you have done the kenyan system of education before it was revamped you are aware of the 844 system so um, my first interaction with pornography was after class 8 um, um, I think one or two months later um, I, I saw it um, look at the lens Desha look at the lens okay I saw it um, on someone's phone at home I will not disclose which family member but I saw it on someone's phone and it caught my eye like it was curious like I found like it appealed to the curiosity in me like how do you do this thing in front of the camera and first of all let me just say the fact that they were adults and I was a kid and I was like I am finally seeing adult content unfiltered and uncensored and I was really excited so yeah I think that that like that was the thrilling part I think that is what made me stay in pornography first of all because it, it just appealed to my curiosity and second like they are adults like I'm just a 10 year old or 11 year old I can't remember what age I was but some over there and I'm looking at grown up doing grown up stuff and I'm like wow okay yeah that was the first time I interacted with pornography and mind you the images stayed in my brain and I kept looking for more kept looking for more but I didn't know I didn't know where to get them apparently I did not know where to get them yeah so six months down the line after I saw my first video I went to stay at a just I just went to stay somewhere and the person that I was staying at um their kid was also into porn and uh, since I didn't have a phone and I needed to communicate with my parents the person gave me their phone and in their phone there were videos as well of pornography like already don't do that videos of pornography so like i was sorted and this time it just wasn't grown-ups this one's for like two girls and i was like these things exist like i did not know that lesbians exist let me just uh, like i knew illuminati existed immediately i entered high school in form one and the service that i attended first was about illuminati that's all like before that i didn't know that's the same thing with lesbianism I didn't know lesbianism existed until I saw a pornography video on lesbianism and I was like yuck but mm, like, it was yuckish but it was also interesting because these things are out of the norm so yeah okay let's keep on going um I went on and I continued and I continued and for the whole of that month I think I think I had like like I can literally remember those videos even now I still can't remember them I think that is one of the biggest consequences of being introduced to pornography the image is just the it's not like a salmon you have to keep watching okay this is me shading myself but um whenever I watch salmons like one year later two years later I, I don't think I remember them and that's the most interesting part about it but when it comes to things that are not 
very very like that it's important they stick to my brain which i also think sticks to every other person who has interact with pornography i do not know why but that's how our brains are wired yeah okay that was the second time i interacted with pornography for a full month yeah um but that time i interacted with pornography was um, we had a house elf at home and her phone also had porn and uh, yeah it had porn and it had like the animal kind of porn so I don't know like it was just a series of introduction to pornography first of all it was just adults just men and women doing weird stuff second it was women doing weird stuff that was um, animals and people and I was like can this industry get more interesting and I think I think that was the thing that kept me staying inside it like these things happen and I was not saying it because like I just found them interesting like I'm watching adults doing adult stuff I'm watching girls doing girl stuff I'm watching okay the animal part wasn't interesting like it was just yuck like <sighs> anyway let me go on with the story um yeah but yeah immediately now fast forward after being introduced and having the images stuck to my brain I got my phone later later on um yeah I got my phone later later on in life in high school and uh, I vowed to myself that I will spend the rest of eternity exhausting every porn site that I will ever meet I have not accomplished it yet and I don't intend to accomplish it but I think that's when that's when I intentionally intentionally decided that I'm gonna be choosing this thing and uh, I think that's how my addiction began just intentionally choosing pornography everywhere I have to look at the lens look at the lens Dasha yeah that I think that's how inten I think my intentionality in pursuing pornography because it was out of this world and it appealed to curiosity in my life made me stick to it and then the f I think not the fun beat but knowing that I was not alone when it comes to watching pornography and knowing that I have classmates who watch pornography I have classmates who want to be introduced to pornography and I can share this information and we can form this clique where we can be talking about pornography well yeah I remember that this time I was in class in form 2 CRE I didn't like CRE I have never liked CRE yet I'm a Christian wow the irony yeah um CRE I, 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 I just zoned out and I started remembering every porn video that I have watched over the couple of holidays that I have been home and uh, I went on and went on and went on until some pastor came to school and he was like I cannot be preaching and I'm still stuck in pornography and I think I, I, I went to him and I shared my story and then this was the most annoying part at that time now I know the answer but at that time when I went to share my story and I told him Mr. Man I need help in breaking this pattern and he was like the only person and the only force that can free you from the bondage of pornography is Jesus Christ and I was like man like I did not come to you to talk to me about spirituality because I'm like spirituality is okay I, I can be spiritual but I have tried spiritual things and it's not working and so I got off of that place peace and I was like now it's not intentional now it's rebellion and we go back to the same pattern holiday after holiday pornography 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 yeah and I meet guys who are also interested in pornography and I meet boys who are interested in pornography and I'm like oh, it's a win-win we stay gang we are together we stay loyal to this thing and uh, I think that's how it's been for like eight or nine years of my life ever since I saw porn and um, yeah my my breakthrough from pornography began immediately i joined campus that is like one year later or six months later after i finished form four yeah I mean, before i even start talking about how my breakthrough with pornography began i remember there was this time okay after i finished high school my parents bought me this nice phone an lg i still remember i 
it was a nice black phone and so I tried to feed my habit of course and then so I, I, I try to download stuff but I don't know I go in India like for real guys it was not entering back and I've got two percent and then it fails completely I have spent pocket money I have spent pocket to buy myself bundles literally so that I can download one and it did not enter yeah so I thank my parents if they had prayed over that phone thank you if they had cast a charm on it thank you because I think that's when I started seeing that maybe there's an outside force that can help me and then six months down the line of course I joined campus the most beautiful campus that I have been yeah and um, I'm talking as you I've been to many other campuses actually I have but yeah and uh, we go to someone's and I'm like, okay, I'm this 50-50 Christian. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I see, I don't know, I don't know if she's going to watch this video, but I see her. Her name is Jay Lindsay. I see her leading worship in chapel at Nairobi Baptist. And I'm like, you will really, really, really appeal to my father. Not like in that way, like you're godly and you have this, like, you know, there's this thing that people usually, there's that face that people usually say that when you stay in God, there's just that like glory that shines on your face and you just look pretty and you look decent and that, like, that is what attracted me to, I think, to intentionally get it sealed. Now we are friends, but before, before, before I, I just used to see her, every time I'd pass through school and we walk past each other, I just stand and look at her and I'm like, God. Can I have a portion of that grace? Can I have a portion of that glory? Yeah, so Joy Lindsay, if you watch this video, this one's for you. Yeah, and um, that's how it began, my, my breakthrough. Like, I started seeing that and I, I, I just wanted to share in that glory. I wanted to share in that communion with the Holy Spirit. And if it exists then, because she was a testimony just standing there and singing with her angelic voice and I'm like I want that yeah but it didn't break immediately um, that was one of the reasons as to why my pornography habit wanted to stop which it has right now but the second one was I was dating someone at that point we met on the internet not like on a dating site just on the internet and we started dating and we were talking about pornography and he was like he wanted to stop pornography and i was like okay then i can help you and then seeing that success story in his life like immediately he said i don't have to watch pornography and ever since like i can come it's been four years now he's never watched pornography ever again and i was like this is a success story my friend and i'd like that like to just intentionally say you know and not watch pornography ever again and um, yeah so that was the second reason as to why I wanted to watch I, 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 I wanted to break my pattern of pornography but the devil didn't make it easier the, the, the devil didn't make it easier okay they want their phone back I'm not using my phone I'm using someone's phone because my phone is charging okay um so the devil didn't make it easier I think the group grew stronger with all the challenges that came yeah the fact that um as I joined campus, of course, a lot of things happen, identity crisis, and you have to fit in, but then sometimes you get rejected in some area of your life, and I was like, the only thing that made fed that was the fact that, like, whenever I felt idle, or whenever I was angry, or something of the sort, like, all the triggers that I mentioned, which included rejection, and anger, and being idle, just kept pushing me back to pornography, and then I didn't have the right company of friends. I mean, I had friends, but we were not open, and I could not exclusively just tell them, I struggle with pornography, and I need help. I couldn't do that, so, yeah. I still went back, but I got into the right group of friends. I met my boyfriend in that group of friends, and every time I had a sleep up, he was my accountability partner. I would go to him, I'd call him out of the office that we used to hang out, stand at the door, and I'd tell him, yesterday I watched pornography. And he'd be like, okay. And then he'd give me the encouraging message, and then he'd say, we pray. And then we pray. 
and then life started getting better and for some reason it has always been better ever since so you're looking at me right now i'm free i'm really really free from porn but yeah that's my pornography story like i will share now how to how the house later but that's my porn story for now yeah yes i have been a porn addict and uh, very few people have helped me out of it actually three some indirectly and one very directly and i'd recommend this book to anyone who is struggling with pornography especially any woman who is struggling with pornography it's called the baker's daughter i read it um it helped it helped it seriously helped yeah that's my recommendation to any woman who is struggling with pornography so that's it for today we'll catch up on episode two later on i need to return someone's phone so yeah i love you all and god loves you too i mean yeah i love you all and god loves you and uh, Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to join our family and let's build a relationship with Christ. Peace.